Hey guys, it's Melanie here. Welcome back to my stand channel. So, um, so this statement that was been said to a lot of autistic people, and this is the one of the worst and invalidating statements I ever heard when someone said something like, "You don't look autistic," and this statement kind of pisses me off, honestly, because. I feel like this is one of the most judgmental thing to say to someone who is experiencing autism and I feel like there's a lot of judgmental people out there because like they don't understand what autism is and a lot of people are not educated about what autism is or someone who is on the autism spectrum so I think when someone say you don't look look autistic, I feel like those people are not educated on what autism is and I can be wrong here. I feel like they're raised in a house where their parents taught them to be judgmental or like be a narcissistic. So it's one of the worst things I ever encounter and I feel like this is the most annoying statement to say to someone who is experiencing autism because like it's not fair to say that statement to someone who has experienced it because you don't understand what they're going through and also you don't know what their daily lives or daily tasks are like and I feel like it's best to like try to understand where they're coming from instead of judging them because you think you know the whole story but you actually don't cause like I get statements like this like someone says something like you don't look autistic I think you're being misdiagnosed everyone is a little autistic or whatever and these statements are really annoying to hear from people because these statements is basically gaslighting and not just gaslighting, it's also rude to say because it's a negative stereotype as well to someone who is experiencing developmental disability. So I think for me personally, um, if people say these judgmental statements, that is best to stay away from them because like they are not supportive people and also those people don't understand where we're coming from and I feel like it's frustrating that people don't understand our struggles or what our daily lives are like and it just sucks nowadays and also it's not fair for someone to tell us to behave in a certain way or act in a certain way as well and and autism is a diagnosis however is something that it cannot be cured and you cannot get rid of autism diagnosis but what you can do is improve and succeed in your skills and also having autism is not a burden and it's a special thing to have and and it's okay to be different because if we're living in a world where everyone functions the same thing or whatever and was the same person, then it's going to make life even boring. So I think personally, having autism is something that no one should make fun of and and it's, it's hard because like a lot of people out there are very judgmental and they just don't understand what our daily lives are. And I feel like personally for me, um, I'll give you like a story, a small story that happened to me as an autistic person. So like I was friends with this online friend for a very long time but we're not friends anymore because I broke things off with him so I kind of ended the friendship with him due to his toxic behavior so like this guy is actually very toxic to me and he also took advantage of me as well so 
I'm not gonna say his name just because I wanted to be respectful and be nice about it. So, and I just want to say that I did told his online friend that I have autism and he was super judgmental and he told me that I was being misdiagnosed and that I worry too much about what other people think and I tried telling him about my story and like more about myself and try to educate him however he starts to get even more pissed at me and he starts like gaslighting my feelings by saying your parents fuck you up for not giving you a chance to learn and grow and you're doubting your perception and confidence for having a mental disability that is fucked up and and then he starts like gaslighting my feelings and starting putting the blame on my parents on everything and it was just heartbroken over there and I was really sad about the way he responded over there because I thought he would be supportive but it turns out he's not so that's another example of this person is having a negative stereotype towards people with autism and developmental disability so yeah yeah and I think people like this guy are very frustrating and something that we shouldn't be around with these kinds of people who are judgmental because you need people who who will support you and help you out no matter what and yeah about this guy who responded to me like that I actually yeah ended the friendship with him like long time ago like few years ago because he actually took advantage of me because I have autism when I mention it to him about it but yeah, I'm glad that I cut him off because like there's no need to deal with fake people like him and also this guy only talks to me when it's convenient, which is super weird and insane over there. But yeah. And for me personally, um if someone says stuff like you don't look autistic or whatever, just know that what those people say is very wrong and also they just don't know how to help you better and I think personally we need people out there who will understand where you're coming from and someone who will support you no matter what and unfortunately we can't control what other people say to us but what we can do is bring a support group and also talk to someone to know that you are being heard because that's really important and it's just sad over there because the world is cruel and yeah i get judged a lot for being autistic a lot while people didn't know that i have an autism diagnosis but i'll talk to you guys more a little bit in the future videos about me getting judged and bullied for my diagnosis but yeah but yeah i just want to say that the statement when someone says you don't look autistic i think personally um that's a little unfair for people to say that because again those people don't understand where we're coming from and also they are not in their shoes and it's not fair for them to tell us that because again they are not in their sh again they are not in our shoes and they don't understand where we're coming from or whatever so yeah that's pretty much it and i just think that it it takes time to find people like the right people who will who will be there for you and i know that a lot of autistic people struggle to make friends a lot and unfortunately a lot of people out there um are very judgmental to a lot of people with autism or asperger's so personally i think it's important to like talk with like a therapist or a mental health professional and i don't know if that's best because i know a lot of autistic people develop mental health issues like depression, anxiety, and OCD, and 
ADHD as well. So I think it's important to talk to a professional that can help you and also have you join a support group where you can relate to others and also make new friends as well. So yeah, that's my suggestion over there. And and I, and I just wanted to say that you are not alone and that it's, it's okay to be different and it's not a bad thing. So that's pretty much it. But yeah, these are my thoughts over here. And I know I don't have the best advice over here, but reason why I'm making this video because the you don't look autistic is very common statement that a lot of autistic people receive that most invalidating statements ever. So yeah, I just wanted to point out and express my opinions about it. But yeah, so anyways, um, I'm going to end the video right now. Thank you guys so much for listening and I will see you guys later. Bye.